Wait, what's this? All right, we're off. We're cruising. All right, hey everyone. It is another day Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton in the back today because we're going to go pick up a special guest today that will be sitting right here in Mr. Skeleton's usual spot. Uh, Mr. Skeleton, are you even paying attention back there? Sir, it, this is gonna be, uh, uh, I'm suffering a little bit today. I got a full hour of sleep and I blame my husband <laughs> for this. So my husband and I were out with a special guest who will be sitting here today. And um, we were out until 5.30 in the morning. So anyway, I'm uh, currently running on fumes, I think, at this point. Wearing the same thing I wore last night. Literally, I'm pretty sure I slept in it. So, uh, we're, we're, we're cruising today. We're cruising. We're gonna go Halloween decor hunting, but first, we're gonna go pick up our special guest. Wondering if anyone was guessing that this was gonna happen today. If said person is awake. Actually, I don't know if they will be awake because I'm not, I'm not even joking when I say like 6 a.m. was when I fell asleep, so I have to drive a little bit to go pick up said special guest. So um, I'm gonna get off here. Well, first of all, I'm gonna go pick up our coffee because I am ready for some caffeine. I don't even know. I think I'm just talking at this point to keep myself alive. Um, and well, we're gonna cruise out to Joanne. No, but we might go to Joanne's. Is there Joanne's out there? I didn't even look that up, I don't think. Well, I'll see you when we go pick up our special guest. I'm so excited. All right. I don't think everyone's ready. Oh. I'm so hungover. <laughs> and oh like, God. we just left breakfast. I got you Question. coffee. Oh my God. To you. add so to the spiciness that's probably already half digesting. Oh. Most of you know Voltaire because we chat in the comments about gothic homemaking. But if you're not familiar with Voltaire, he's got a lot of amazing gothic stuff going on. First of all, he has a channel here on YouTube called The Lair of Voltaire, where he does all sorts of gothic homemaking. He is the gothic homemaker himself. He does gothic baking, decorating. He does Halloween decor hunting, all sorts of gothic stuff over on his YouTube channel, which I'll have linked in the description box for you. He also has all sorts of gothic merchandise. He has face masks wine toppers, plushes. My personal favorite is the Globlin, which is the little hand sanitizer holder. Also, of course, I cannot forget uh, Voltaire's music. Voltaire is an extremely talented musician. He's currently on tour and he just had a show in Kansas City. And yeah, I will have his, all his socials, everything linked down in the description box for you. Definitely check out Voltaire if you haven't checked him out already. By the way, I loved your bathroom makeover. Oh, wow, that took pretty much an entire year. It uh, took a whole season. Well, and tile work is literally impossible. <laughs> and your show was great. Thank and you. the great turnout. Yeah, it was really nice. Kansas City, you can't say they don't know how to party. And you're, where are you going next? Las Vegas. Nice. Yeah, my next show's in Las Vegas. I'm going out there for the big Star Trek convention. And, uh, and then the week after that, I'm playing in Los Angeles. And the week after that, I'm playing in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania for a creature feature weekend and after that is dragon con in atlanta and tampa and orlando and st augustine florida i'll have all your um your website your socials all that in the description that way you can check out go to a show it's so much fun and the people are so nice everyone there was so Absolutely. nice i'm very lucky in that regard people who come to my show tend to be really super cool people really nice I'll tell you, it's actually a miracle i'm awake Okay, I didn't think for a second. I was like, if, okay, bottom line, if I drive out there and you're not awake yet, I'll just go cruising. <laughs> it's, I, I didn't set an alarm. I got back to my hotel and I just fell asleep. I just completely collapsed. And then you're never going to believe this, but I just woke up for no reason whatsoever. No. At like 8.59 a.m. Makeup smeared all over my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. We're cruising. We're going to, I don't know where, I think we're going to go to Marshall's first, if that's good with you. Sure. Backstory on why we're blaming my husband for everything, because I blamed him <laughs> earlier too. 
So we were we were like, okay, we gotta go to bed early because we're gonna go Halloween decor hunting. And my husband's like, no, we gotta go get Mexican food. We gotta go to this restaurant. So we go. The the people warned us who worked there. They're like, oh, you know, the salsa is really spicy. We're like, oh, well, we love spicy. It's totally fine. And then everyone's literally on fire. <laughs> my mouth was in the seventh circle of hell. <laughs> Also going to blame your husband for how hungover I am because he's like the nicest guy in the entire world, uh, but he he is a very heavy pour as a bartender. Oh, yes, and, and he keeps them coming. Oh my God! From the first drink that I had, I just remember thinking, like, "This is the strongest drink I've ever had in my life." Well, and he also has this way of knowing when your glass is empty somehow. It's sixth sense. That's like... my cup did runneth over. There were these folks at my show who asked if they could buy me a, a shot and I said sure that's really lovely and they came over with shots and they were what we would call a Drink. tequila neat in New York City yeah. you know it was like a glass of tequila oh come on people do I look afraid I do look no, afraid well that's that's on brand <laughs> this is probably the very first time Mr. Skeleton has ever had to carry a guitar huh yes Mr. Skeleton is gonna bust it out while we're probably in the stores and start playing for everybody. So we can go to at home and then cruise out to that home goods and then, yeah. We can My do fiance that. and I went to a <clears throat> TJ Maxx and they had a small selection of Halloween stuff. I was like, okay, the Halloween stuff is coming in. And then we went back last week and there was no Halloween stuff. People have been picking, I feel like picking it over and buying out a bunch of stuff. And it's Mayumi, right? Mayumi. Ma Mayumi, yeah. yes. Yeah. I always want to make sure I get that right. But what what's her decorating style? Like, what's oh her? If God. she had to choose, like, it, does she have like certain things? Uh oh. Speak of the Are her ears burning? Oh. No. Uh -oh. It's my mother. Uh oh. We'll have to, we'll have to chat some other time. Hi, mom. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Not today, Satan. <laughs> oh hell. I so. Mayumi and I were at a Home Goods in New York. And, and I just learned something new about her. Because, you know, for four years I've been doing gothic homemaking and I always pick the things that, like, don't say Happy Halloween on them, you yeah. know, that are not, like, super seasonal. I tend to steer away from things that are orange, you know, like I try to find things that are good for all year decorating in the Lair Voltaire. And she automatically went to the hand towels that had like cartoon bats and a cartoon witch on them. She was like, oh my God, these are so cute. And I was like, oh no. What the witch, oh come on. It wasn't even close. So oh, her, look at that her decorating style is apparently like kitschy country kitchen. Oh, well this is the perfect year. There's a lot of the uh, the farmhouse stuff this Absolutely. year. So what, how, how do you feel about that? Um, we struck a compromise where we, I agreed that we could buy all of the kitschy cartoony stuff if it never left our apartment in Mexico City. <laughs> <laughs> like we're not decorating the Lair of Voltaire with that stuff. Uh, yeah. Mayumi, I'm with you, girl. <laughs> Do no. not turn my vampire castle <laughs> into a You're cartoon. You're totally gonna have a country towel. Oh my god! In there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Your <laughs> poor guitar has been through it. That guitar, holy smokes! Remember, we. Oh, were you there for one? No, it just, but you told oh me the story. Yeah, I was talking to some folks before the show at Soundcheck, and I thought I had zipped up the guitar case, and I was like trying to be all cool, like. Well, it was really nice meeting cool. you all. And I threw my guitar over my shoulder and the guitar just went flying out of the case and landed face first on the ground. And I bet you felt it. Oh. You probably like it hurt. I actually just froze <laughs> and just kept smiling and didn't say a word. No one saw it. And the sound man was like, that's the coolest I've seen anybody ever be when their instrument <laughs> is flown out of their case. I was like, well, what can you do? Just pretend it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It's like three second rule. <laughs> I kissed it and put it back in the case. And then I just slammed on the brakes and went flying. I blame Mr. Skeleton. Yeah, well, he's, he was supposed to be holding it. I know, but it's a long night. <laughs> Voltaire gave me a whole collection of masks. I'm so excited. Which one do I want? I think I'm gonna go for purple. I'm gonna wear, uh, this is Balinese Bat Haunted Mansion Gray. Wait, where's that? It's this one. 
No, but where does it say that? Oh, no, it doesn't say it. <laughs> Only I know what they're called. Isn't that handy? Well, what's this one? That is Bats and Beasts in Royal Purple. Nice. Well, thank you for the mask. I appreciate it. Oh, 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 this is like a twofer? Oh, comes what's gloves. this? Gloves. gloves! Hell yeah! Okay. Let's put this on. Am I the only freak who uh, puts his rings on over the gloves? Yes. <laughs> yes! That was quick. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't expecting such a snappy response. <laughs> You're like, what an asshole. <laughs> I have the power! Alright, He-Man, calm down. <laughs> More of a Skeletor guy myself. Uh, same. We're going in! Here we are. On to Marshalls. I haven't seen any Halloween right now. Oh wait, yeah, look at that guy. He's kind of cool though. Can we talk about what we saw at freaking Marshalls? Oh, oh wait, oh we almost sure. ran somebody over. Wait, where are we going next, first of all? Uh, that's a good question. I Let's go to at home. Oh great, great, great. Yeah. yeah so, that. what did we see at Marshalls? Okay, well first we, we thought we saw nothing. Right, we walked in and it seemed like there was just no Halloween stuff at all. No, and we were... I was slightly, I felt really bad because you were like here to see Halloween. <laughs> and I was like, and he comes to Kansas City. I can't City. believe you didn't personally restock the shelves. Well, I know. I mean, I would have. And then it ended up having some really cool signature items. They did. They had some good stuff. The first thing we saw was, oh, did we see the, pil well, we one saw the disappointing, pillows? One disappointing uh, end cap with the gnomes. Uh, what are your thoughts on gnomes? I'm, I'm <laughs> just say gnome. I'm not. Oh my God. I'm the one with the dad jokes. You You've mean? met your oh match, God. sir. I, I, I'm virulently <laughs> anti-gnome. I don't yep. get it. I mean, respectfully. <laughs> Me too. I I hate them slightly less than the yoga skeletons. <laughs> Are you a yoga skeleton I enthusiast? love, I have a full collection of yoga skeletons. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that. I did not know that. I'm just kidding. This yeah. guy is about to... Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of the yoga skeletons. I like the gnomes less, I think. It's also one of those things mm. where, like, I live in an apartment in New York City. Like, where am I going to put a gnome? You know, like, if I had a garden. Yeah, you would do. I, okay, spooky, yeah, the spooky garden yeah. wouldn't be. Yeah, okay, so I was anti-gnome, which I still, I'm still saying no, gnome. Say gnome. But. Just say gnome. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, at the same time. I was like thinking about the summer when I, cause I have a garden and I was like, you know what? I'm actually not mad at the spooky gnomes for the actual garden. Hmm. That was like, wait, who am I? And what have I done with my life? What has happened? Who am I, yeah, I? I saw, I saw some gnomes and I want to say it was at, maybe at a, at home and they were skeletal. I don't okay. hate that. I don't hate that. If I had like a creepy garden, I'd put that in Yeah, there. I don't hate that. Well, we also saw that, that glass thing that had the witch flying on a broom in front of the moon. It was like that glass, like spooky. It's like a lantern. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah. know what that I was. was I don't know if it was a like vase? a- vase? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know if that was like a lantern or it was supposed to be like a, you know, you put, what do you, what do you call those things? Those, uh, it's like a dish where you have the layers. The tri tri trifle? I learned something new today. Is that what I it's don't, called? I don't trifle with that stuff. <laughs> Is that what it's called? I, have no I idea. don't know either. Like it has the berries and then you have the whipped cream and then oh, you have Oh, like the... a parfait. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, like a parfait, yeah. Yeah, I don't trifle with parfaits. Yeah. I am. So then we saw some pillows and there was a decent skeleton yeah. pillow in a very suggestive position. And it's and it's a bolster <clears throat> no less, you know. Mr. Skeleton centerfold. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> It was. Right. Halloween 2021, yep. Mr. Skeleton Centifold Edition. In, in, in Play Ghoul. Play Ghoul, very good. What? I'm coming through with the dad I jokes. Know. You're slacking. I am super Wait, where might... am I going now? Turn right. No! Tuesday morning. Da, da, oh, wait. Da, 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 da. Are we done with Marshalls? I think so. No, we, we saw. Oh. oh, what did we no, see? No, we saw those well, bat bowl. Yeah, the bat bowl. And the bat bowl is a perfect way to I'm call it. The road. Because. I felt like the bats <laughs> in the bat bowl looked a little Batman-y. Batman-ish? A little Batman-ish? Yeah. So I almost didn't get it. But, but... then you talked me into it. Okay, but I... Because I thought it was to go right here. I liked the overall patina of the bowl. I wasn't crazy about the shape of the bats. Yeah. But, I mean, for $5.99, like, just 
Oh, we're peeling out. What are we doing? <laughs> peeling out. We're very serious about Halloween decor hunting. We're peeling out. We're Welcome ready. Welcome to <laughs> Fast and the Furious 13, starring Jay the Libra. It's true. As Vin Diesel. Really? <laughs> that is who I would be. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I we saw the bowl. The bat bowl was really cool. They had a couple of skulls. They had a gold skull and they had a black velvet skull, and both of them were really quite nice. I, I agree. I agree. Um, and what else? What was there? Well, they had hand towels that were like kitschy, cute country kitchen. So you made me buy one for Mayumi. I did. <laughs> Mayumi, so I have your back. She's gonna love it. That that doesn't leave our apartment in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna find it yeah. out one the, day. The there are do... two towels in that set. Yeah, so yeah, you know we, you're gonna have one that ends up no, in New York. No, no, no. Yes. No. Mexico City exclusive. I tried not to take myself too seriously, but at the Lara Voltaire, I do try to draw a line between like the Halloween and the high design. Okay, okay. okay. So I I like to look at it like when people walk into my place, they might think to themselves like, an actual vampire lives here. As opposed to a fan of vampires lives An here. An actual jack lantern lives here. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> kind of stay away from like the a lot of the orange stuff. Well, anything that says Halloween on it or anything that's a little too cartoony. We know that you hate Halloween. It's Relationships right. are kidding. all about compromise. It is true. We're so glad that we got Miami something. At this point, I have so much stuff in storage that mm -hmm. no longer fits in the Lara Voltaire that yeah. I'm bound to have like a spooky... Halloween auction or garage sale. No, or you just gotta open a like a, a museum <laughs> of hell of or spooky decor museum. Oh, there's a spirit. Yeah. Is that a spirit? Oh no, it's sushi. <laughs> <laughs> they have this. They're using the same exact font in the same exact colors as spirit. There's one of the things that I really don't need for to be spooky is my sushi. Like, you don't want to look at your sashimi and be like, scary. <laughs> but then I feel like your next video. <laughs> Spooky sushi. Absolutely. Next video. It's happening. Absolutely. It's happening. All right. I don't know what else we saw there. We, uh, I mean. Oh, there was that weird runner that had kind of like a cartoon yes. skeleton on it holding yeah. a spider. Yes. We saw that. I want to say there were a couple other things in there that were kind of cool, but. Um. But it tricked us because we walked in and it looked like they had nothing and then they actually had some cool things. Yeah, and, and I've noticed this with Marshalls and Home Goods and all these places, kind of like that in TJ Maxx, that it's kind of spread out throughout the store. So it's not one area to kind of wander around, which yeah. kind of makes it fun. Yeah, it kind of makes it like a scavenger like, hunt. Yeah, exactly. Spooky scavenger hunt. And it's not as overwhelming, which as that's a good leeway, I guess, <laughs> for, <laughs> for Tuesday morning, yeah. which was the most overwhelmed which not a bad thing we walked in and we're like whoa yeah, we halloween this is great it was exactly the opposite feel like we walked in it was like oh my god halloween and then like we picked through everything it was like would we buy any of this stuff yeah yeah it wasn't necessarily our there wasn't a lot of dark decor right. i didn't feel like there. there's a lot of witches oh like with the, of, the witches with the pretty dresses that's right. what i call them yeah i yeah. did like the storage boxes you know and they they're made of cardboard so i don't know how long they would last but those oh, yeah. were you know creepy really nicely designed and you know i'm always looking for clutter solutions in yeah a tiny little apartment i feel like that's a really good one especially for like remote controls and stuff too like you can like put it on your like coffee oh, table and like yeah. put some remote controls or whatever you got going on i feel like it could be good too i like my the, on top of the toilet where oh, I yeah. ultimately end up like I, I leave my makeup there and I leave my brushes there and eventually it just ends up looking really cluttered and you could just throw all of that in one of those books that's great makeup storage actually like that's actually a really freaking good idea I also really like that they had them displayed in such a way where it looked like a library like I'd never considered because you think about putting stuff inside the box you don't think about turning it over on its side yeah. but if but if you filled it with mail or letters or paper you can absolutely then just put them on the shelf. Okay, I might actually take that idea because my mail is always out of control. Mm. And then once the box fills up, then you know that you got to keep it. Like, oh, I got to go through it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I might need to pay some of these bills. Well, Joanne. Oh, it's Joanne. Should we go? Uh, okay. okay. I mean, look, right, it's you wanna right, hit, Wait, it's let's right hit at home first okay. and then we can hit that on the way, if we have time on the way back. But I know at home has dark stuff. Okay. Like stuff that I feel like it'd be into where at Joanne so far I haven't seen their other lines come out but I think we should stop there on the way to the airport just hit it one Sounds last good. place but yeah it just was a lot at Tuesday morning I'll just continue to show all the clips because there were a lot of pillows and dishware or like you know like mugs drinkware you know like wine glasses whatever 
It was that crazy, heavy, lantern-shaped snow globe. <laughs> yes, with the creepy witch inside. Weighed 37 pounds. I went to go move it to get a visual <laughs> of it, and I was like, I cannot lift this. Oh my gosh, 300 pounds. Like, I Thank you for the coffee, by the way. Oh, you're welcome. Of I'm course. only now waking up. I'm like, she got me coffee. Oh, That's so nice. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Is this, where's that home? There's Ross in here. So there is that, that one collection at Ross that we're secretly stalking. What is that? I haven't seen it. Yeah, I showed you a picture last night what of it. it. It's had the moon with the ah, bass. yes, yes, yes. Right. Yeah, because I was showing everybody and their mom. Anyone who would listen, I was like, look at this collection at Ross. Like Halloween, damn you. <laughs> Anyways, Tuesday morning. Had, I got some signs. They have some, like, outdoor signs. A couple of them lit up. One said, like, boo. The other one said horror on it. But it, like, it was, like, marquee-looking signs. And then they had, like, the outdoor, like, stand-up signs. And a lot of stuff was just very, um, I don't even know how to describe it. Eclectic? Uh, sure. Like, very colorful, it's, lots of designs. With the exception patterns. of the storage books. Yes. Like nothing crossed over into the, like really aesthetically pleasing to me. But yeah, that's kind of, I mean, Tuesday morning, it just had a lot of. There's a lot of stuff. And a lot of patterns, a lot of colorful stuff. So if you're into that, they had a couple of wreaths as well. One said like, beware goblins and ghouls or something on it. But then the, then there was a witch one. But once again, very colorful, lots Which of one? patterns. Um, there was like a, some Which wreaths. One? What? Which one? Stop. <laughs> that took me way too long that, to get. That, yeah. It did. It wasn't, gonna, I wasn't making the connection. You're going to blame your husband and his heavy pour at the bar. I know. I, I really <laughs> wanted to love the, uh, the skeletal bottle opener for my skeletal cutlery yes, collection. Yes, I like that too. But I just, it was gold. I can't do gold. If yeah. it was silver, I would have bought it. Do we, like, where are we going? We're lost. It said four miles. We're in the lands of the dead. Heck, boy, ain't it grand. Oh, we still are. Oh, it's still there. Friendly feet. bean cup. Yes. So that was oh Tuesday God, morning. Yeah. But I did like that bottle opener. I did want it to be silver, I agree. Or black. What? Let me just take this. Okay. Hola. No, I stay in Kansas City. Here I come. Okay, I love you too. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. It's my accountant. Bye, Mom. <laughs> love you too, accountant. <laughs> <laughs> love you very much. Wait, it's got to be somewhere. There's a taco. There's always oh, there a, it is. Yeah, there's always a Taco Bell next to at home really? for whatever reason. Maybe I don't know. A, maybe they have an affiliation. <laughs> Wait, should we cross? Let's let the nice little old people <laughs> cross the street first. Don't. Okay, don't you're run, making me look bad. Don't run I'm them just over, kidding. Jay. Okay, okay, okay. Road rage. I know. <laughs> well, this guy's just gonna speed walk right ahead. Oh, he's gonna. Not we weren't go waiting for you, sir. All right, we're at at home. We're going in. That's not a loss, is it? It's a good collection of stuff here. Oh, yes. Should we get a picture in front of them? Oh, wait. I'm... Oh, there's a gnome over here. A lonely milkshake. <laughs> ah. Well, Terry's breaking things already. Good old plaque on a stand. Oh, no one's got a plaque on a stand. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean, bro. Yeah. Well, Terry, I found something right up your alley. <laughs> He's my new Orville Devenbacher. <laughs> Don't make him jealous. I'm so excited about this. Shoot, we're gonna cruise to Joanne's. Time okay, so what did we master. see? Well, first of all, that was the best stocked at home that I've been to yet. It was good. It was great. There was a lot of old favorites. Yes. Like the Skeletal King on the Throne. My personal favorite's that Crystal Skull. The Black Crystal S Skull, mm -hmm. I got that last year. That's yep. a beautiful piece. It's so good, it's back this year. And I know some people missed out on it. So if you missed out on it, they have it. Go get it. Again, also a piece on my list, the mirror. Yep. We both scored that, I, spoiler alert. I, had like the opposite of buyer's remorse yeah. when, I, when I saw it in New York I didn't buy it and I got home and I was like I really should have bought that mirror I so. had not seen it out yet I saw the, the candlestick holder with the eyeball on it but I did not see the mirror and I've been looking everywhere for it we also saw the little carriage 
Yeah. The gothic carriage, which it, we didn't see it light up, but it was mm -hmm. kind of cool. I wish the wheels turned. Yeah, <laughs> but it was kind of, I mean, it was, it, okay, wait, wait, wait. Can we talk about how it was in Halloween Hoedown? Like, uh, what is Hoedown about a gothic princess carriage? Oh, like, no, I think <laughs> somebody just left it in that section. No, it had the tag on it. What? And it said Halloween freaking Hoedown. And I was like, dude, no. It, that looked like this, a carriage out of a Tim Burton movie. I know, that was definitely part of the dark decadence line. It, if you want, it looked but, like it should have been, you know, yes. dragged by skeletal horses. Yes. Um, I, thanks for pointing out the raven claw candle holder. Okay, so I didn't, I tell, you, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't tell you the secret. About What's that? that? Okay, so I learned something about that piece. Okay. But I haven't mentioned anyone yet. So apparently that piece is actually a chicken foot. What? Which makes it even weirder. That's so not goth. It looks like a raven claw, first it, of all. That, that was my first assumption. But when somebody said it's part of that Halloween hoedown line and it's a chicken foot, what? I was like, what is this goth hoedown? Well, like, I, can't, I can't completely hate Halloween hoedown if you're gonna make pieces like that. And the, and the carriage was in it. And I'm like, oh, wait, what okay. kind of hoedown is it like? Now I wanna have a gothic hoedown. <laughs> If one of us was gonna have a Halloween hoedown. <laughs> We're gonna make it happen. Look at Kansas, y'all. Kansas, y'all. We're gonna make it happen. What else did we see? Saw some cool wreaths, that, some gothic looking wreaths with them. Um, like some floral. Oh, and there were, in the Spellbound collection, there was a cool floral vibe uh, wreath with some of the purples and like the jewel tones. Uh, the Spellbound collection, I haven't seen fully stocked and it was basically fully stocked. I also had a little toad thing with like a little butterfly on it or something. Oh yeah, the toad yeah. with the butterfly on it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an odd choice, but I think it really works. Yeah. There was also that crazy greenish pumpkin with snake scales. Yes. Yes, I, I love really it. Cool. The texture of that is really, really cool. Also they had the, was it like a skull with a snake wrapping uh -huh. around it? Or was that another and sword? A, they right? had a skull with butterflies on it. Um, cannot forget about the plaque on a stand. Plaque <laughs> on a stand. They were like, you know what this line is missing? A plaque on a stand. Plaque on a stand. And I saw it at Ross the other day. The <laughs> same plaque on a stand it's, uh, it's at a Ross. It's a curious presentation. Yeah. And then they had like kind of like a Beauty and the Beast cloche with the, the skeleton hand holding. Right. They had a couple of little gargoyles that I thought was quite nice. Yes. Yeah. Loved the gargoyles. And then the uh, candelabra is back this year. They had that one last year, I think. The one that I bought? Yeah. Yeah. And it has like little gargoyles in the candelabra like I like that it's small, I but you too. could put it in a corner. Yeah, I like that too. I'm gonna regret not getting that, I think. Damn it. What the hell else did I buy? Oh, I bought those uh, two candelabras and a mirror. Yeah, that mirror was so good. I'm trying to think what else we, we saw. I mean, I'll just continue to show stuff because there was a lot there that we have not seen. Or some of the stuff, the good stuff was brought back, luckily, but there was so much stuff that we yeah, a needed lot of, it. A lot of old favorites are back. Yes, but there was a lot of stuff that I hadn't seen yet. That was really good, especially in the Spellbound and Dark Decadence lines, which I like both of those lines. I feel like there's a lot. I love the Dark Decadence one this year, though, because it really has the goth or, like, you know, gothic kind of feel to it. And then, I, I mean, there was just a lot. I don't even know if I can recall all of it at once because, well, my brain just. some skeleton sad. gnomes. Oh, yeah, there's some skeleton gnomes. That was. And I mean, if you're going to buy gnomes at all, a skeleton gnome is the way to go. You had to go with. <laughs> Show myself out. <laughs> Get out of here. We're kicking him out, Mr. Skeleton. So we're just sitting here sweating. Yeah. It's very hot, as you can see by the it's color of It's 91 face. degrees. Is it really? Wait, no. I want you to experience the heat index that is Kansas City. We're going to look this up really quick. So when I watch your videos, oh, I always wonder right to myself, like, there's always a moment where you get a cool, refreshing drink. And, and, and I always wondered, like, why is that always a feature of the videos? And you, now I Have know. you had a Baja Blast I before? Know. I don't know what that is. Do you want to try one? Okay. Yes! <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> it's like... Some people hate it. You might hate it. Okay. Is it a slushy? Well, they have a slushy if you want. I, so you dabble in no, the my slushy. No, my brain freezes real quick. Yeah, no, no, no. They have the regular... It's like a Mountain Dew. Okay. But it's not, I mean, I'm probably overhyping it, but is it's it, just our refreshing. It's like one of those, the carbonation is so extreme okay. that it just makes your Didn't insides expect it to be carbonated. sparkle. All right. It makes your entire nostrils like it, catch on fire. It sounds like a glass full of chemicals. <laughs> That's exactly what <laughs> okay. it is. There's Taco Bell right there. So we're going to go get is a Baja Blast. that where they come from? That's yes. where they come from, the Baja Blast? That's where the mystery, mysterious Baja Blast comes from is Baja Taco Blast. Bell. If you hate it, 
you have to pretend you like it. I will. Just like be over the top <laughs> excited about it just so you don't hurt my feelings. Oh my god. My first ever. Can I drink it through my mask? If you would like. That's my bad. I was trying to pull through. Okay, anytime today. <laughs> um we're gonna be cruising to Joanne's next. And I've got my little saying. We're cruising to Joanne's. <laughs> is that Dollar Tree? It is. I don't know if they have anything They yet. get their Halloween stuff kind of late though, don't Here they? they definitely do because they do. Oh my, look at the line. This is ridiculous, oh, people. Boy. Well, we got some time to burn. Oh, sorry. It's cold cold your, like, oh my God, this person's so mad at me. I literally pulled in front of him, sorry. They're so mad. What is oh, happening here? I this guy you're about to crash right into. <laughs> Am I making you nervous yet? Not yet. <laughs> what? Whoa! Oh, shit. Is that the same lady? That's the same lady. She's so mad at me. Jesus. She wants her Baja Blast, y'all. Should I maybe run in and get it? It might be faster than this drive -thru. Yeah, I'm wondering if we should go in. Let's do it. to say that I'll have the masks linked in the description as well because these are the coolest right. matching gloves yes and you get the gloves all right we got our Baja Blast now when you said it was a Mountain Dew like thing I didn't really it's actually Mountain Dew it is Mountain Dew it is made by Mount, the Mountain Dew cheers it looks like like I'm drinking water from a swimming pool I, that's what will, makes it even better will it be as refreshing oh it stings <laughs> you hate it no i wouldn't He's say lying. that you're right about the carbonation it's, it's like insanely carbonated it's like quench thirst quenching you know why because it's got salt in it i think i've just ruined this for you but it's full of salt pool it's water. actual pool it's water actually it's chlorine is what it is <laughs> It is really, really sweet. I like, feel my insides getting cleaner. As yes, I <laughs> that's what the feeling is. That's the experience. I don't hate it. I feel like vodka would make it better. Well, good for us because we've got... <laughs> I'm just kidding. We don't have any. Damn it. Tell your husband to put some of that uh, vodka oh, in here. I know. Hair of the dog, people. Hair of the dog. It's like the least gothic drink ever. I mean, it's swampy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very summery. <laughs> It's more of a zombie vibe, but... Do they sell this all year long, or is it yeah. seasonal? No, it's all year round. I just drink it seasonally, uh -huh. because once it gets cold, I want the hot coffees, mm. and that's it. And I'm not a big... You know what? Unpopular opinion. I'm not a big pumpkin spice latte fan. Wow. You like it? I'm out. I like the smell of it. Because I was going to say, if, if sweetness is not your thing, I feel it's like not. PSL would not be your thing. No, and flavored, it's very sweet. And flavored coffee isn't my thing. Yeah. I, I drink the, I like the, you know, the coffee-flavored coffee. Oh, yeah. The only pumpkin spice anything in my home is, are the candles. And I love the way they smell. Yeah. Have you, well, have and my Yumi has a body cream that she got at Bath and Body Works. That's pumpkin smelling? Yeah, and it's really nice. Pumpkin spice latte. PSL. Yeah, PSL. I mean, I, we're, you know, gotta be a basic witch. Someone's gotta oh, be Oh, she got two, but what are they called? Baja. Baja Blasts. Pool water. Like, she, she got two Bahama Mamas. She is. <laughs> Whatever they're called. Bahama. Bahama. She's double fisting her Bahama Mama. Yeah, she got two Bahama Mamas. All right. We're cruising to Joanne's. Oh. <laughs> We're here at Joanne's. <laughs> We're at Joanne's. We didn't see shit. <laughs> that was kind of a disappointment. Thoughts? Um, well. I kind of went into it thinking there wouldn't be anything at all, so oh, it was kind of so you weren't cool. that mad about it? No, I didn't expect Joanne to have anything out yet, so it seems to be trickling in. There was one that I, we went to, I think it was like last week, I had a lot of stuff, and this one was not as as stocked with some of the cooler items. I it, found <laughs> a four foot long piece of orange hair. <laughs> I'm gonna auction it. Not an exaggeration. <laughs> on YouTube, but did you want it? I mean, what? I don't know what sure. to do with it. Sure. <laughs> Here, it's. it's it came, usually just came from your sticks to the ceiling <laughs> for decoration. <laughs> so yeah, they had some some spooky floral stuff, and some like paper party, like Halloween party plates. Yeah, and the towels. And the towels. 
Thirty percent off. The towels were all a little too Halloweeny for my taste. Oh, shit. You know, that I don't even know what to call it. That pedestal with the three. Yeah, the pumpkins, pumpkins made of the like sleepy black hollow vibe. Yeah, yeah, I, I really that like cool. that. that was, and it lit up, didn't it? Or did I make? Yeah, that? it lit it up. Lit up. It, and so did that wreath that we yeah. saw that lit up too. But it had a little brown in it, and I was questioning. I just didn't see a whole lot, honestly. Mm. And even like last night, went it was like all the boxes. Like the decorative boxes were all really Voltaire is wanting more Baja Blast. This Bahama Mama is starting to grow on me. <laughs> <laughs> Bahama. Yeah. B-A-J-A. Bahama. B-A. J-A. M-A. 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 Bahama Mama. <laughs> we just won the spelling bee. <laughs> yeah, I mean it was it was it was I mean it was good. Not my favorite of the day, but it was good. It was it was we saw Halloween, so I can't be mad. Can't be mad I'll at I'll be it. interested to see what their line is like when, when it finally comes out. Yeah, I can't wait to see the because you know all the cutesy Halloween stuff comes out first. And then they had like last year they had like a twenties theme. Right. And they had those really cool decanters. So I'm really oh, yeah, hoping right. they have something like that. Here. Wow, when somebody walks past your car like the artificial intelligence goes crazy and there's like there's okay. somebody directly behind you. Yeah. I felt like it's, I was in a TIE fighter. Yes. There's something like a red circle. Yes. Beep, 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 it's beep, true. Beep, beep, it's beep, beep, true. Beep, beep, beep. And then I just like start hitting buttons and I like, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> All right. I used to bullseye womp rats with my T16 back in Beggar's Canyon. Mm -hmm. They're no bigger than two meters. Yeah. It's a Star Wars thing. I'll be over here. You know. <laughs> I, it feels burning. like 95 right now. It is hot. It is really hot. I'd like to sup with my baby tonight, but it's too darn hot. Too darn hot. We're getting a free too concert. Too darn hot. This is what literally 2 million degrees looks like, feels like. It doesn't get this hot in New York. It does. Nice this is really cool. All right, we just left Ross, and Voltaire and I almost fought. We almost had a fist fight <laughs> in the store. I was like, over, "What do you think this is a Walmart? over Halloween decor?" Yes, we're getting serious over here. There was a bat, a metal bat with dangly spiders. Yeah, it, it was a, a metal bat with chains, and there were. It's kind of goofy. I think they should have had baby bats hanging from the chains, not spiders. Agreed. Like my Batmobile. I don't know if you ever seen my episode where I made a Batmobile out of vinyl records, but I think that would have been a better I agree. path. Like bat, big bat, and then little bats. I agree. I'm like, why does this bat have a bunch spiders. of spiders hanging from it? And then there was another one that was like spider and spider webs. Love that these pieces that were metal. Yeah. Uh, I'm really trying to lean towards ceramics and metal and stone and wood. I get really excited when I see a, a piece that's that looks really great and is made out of natural materials. See, I have a Ross. I have like two Rosses really close to me. So I was like, all right, Voltaire, I'll let you have this one this time. And then Voltaire is going to wear it as a necklace on yeah. stage. Yeah. So are you, we should go no, next show. If you go to his next show. MC Raised by Bats. Look at that bling. Some serious bat bling. Well, here's, oh look, I'd already lost a spider. No! Yeah, spider well, in any case, um, I mean, it's really you cool. and I both raced to this piece. I knew one of us had to have it though. And the truth of the matter is that I really, really appreciate your husband and you booking me no, and bringing me you, out. So I brought no, it for you guys. You're lying. Yes, I can't it's, accept it's, it. It's for your home. You did not. I, you just that need to reattach so the That is so nice. Spikes. Yeah, that will be easy. And that's so generous. And well, are you serious? I was about to leave you on the side of the road. Honestly, your, your husband has been so kind and you have been so kind to take me to these Halloween stores and it was the least I could do. Really. That's seriously so nice. Yes. Are you serious? You serious. really didn't get it for you? No, I really got it for you guys. That's seriously so nice. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a gift. Oh from my, my God! A gift from Mayumi and I to you and Dallas. I am so excited. Thank you, my Mayumi Sorry, and you need, Voltaire. You need to, you Thank need you. To fix it I, I, it's, it's just a, it's like fixing a necklace. Yeah, no big easy. deal. Well, thank you so much. Are you sure? Um, listen, do you seriously think I want to put this in my luggage and take it back to New York? I was York wondering, and you're just going to wear it on the plane? I was going to wear it. The, the metal detector would have been okay. loved it.
So let's go Thank back here. Thank you so much. with Mr. Skeleton. I almost fought you over it. I feel like I'm... <laughs> I was laughing inside. I was like, I'm buying this for you guys. Uh, that was good. Thank but we saw a couple other things in there as well. Yeah. I can't believe you, you really just bought that for us. It's, That's seriously so Dallas is going to be so excited. I'm so glad to hear that. Because, you know, he'd watch this video and be like, oh, man, I hope we can find one. That's literally what he oh, would yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you have one. Um, so. I, the, I wanted to like the bat candlestick holders. I wanted to like it, too. What was off? Was it the shininess? I, no, it was the, the sculpture of the bat. I yeah. felt was like trying to walk a line between looking realistic or being art deco. And I don't really feel like it succeeded in either. And I just didn't love it. Yeah, I didn't like the combo either. And I didn't like the two-tone either. The black mm -hmm. bat yeah, with yeah. the silver. I mean, I just felt like it kind of didn't look like it belonged on the same piece. Like a little bit, but that's just my opinion. The skulls are Tweets okay. Around. And I, I like that sort of like Phantom of the Opera skull. Yeah, that, that one was cool. Mask. Was there was one that triggered me. What was that? It had bees on it. Okay. Do you not oh, like god. bees? Oh, god. I can do bees. Okay. But the wasps. So do you guys get wasps? Uh, I mean, I I live in the middle of New York City, so we don't see a whole lot of wildlife other than rats and pigeons. Well, but like I feel like wasps are the rats of the sky. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was bats. So you're like not at all a fan of murder hornets. Well, you know, no, I'm not. No, I. But I, they feel like they weren't here, so I can like keep a distance from okay. them. I'm like, okay, they're not here, so I'm not terrified of them yet. But actual wasps, it's weird because they have the whole sky, but they choose you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was, it had bees on it. It was like a skull with okay. bee, beehive skull. That's all right. Uh, there were also a couple, couple cutesy things, but then they had like one, like a couple, like a ceramic thing that said boo, kind of like lantern thing, but it was more like colorful or cutesy stuff, which if that's your vibe, then, you know. But I, I really am interested to see more of that metal stuff. Now, you know, I typically don't buy animatronics or any kind yeah. of animated stuff, oh. but I thought the, the door knocker was kind of cool. The gargoyle door knocker. Oh, that was actually pretty cool. Oh, and then we saw the plaque on a stand. Okay. Plaque on a stand. Yeah. But the, the door knocker was cool. Better, uh, better, better plaque on a stand than plaque on my teeth. Uh, that's true. Brush your teeth, kids. Exactly. At least twice a day. <laughs> Especially after Mountain Dew. <laughs> Especially after the Bahama Mama. <laughs> I get my no drama Bahama Mama. Pair it with a llama. Oh, God. In my pajamas. Yeah, you're writing your next song right now. That, this is it. This is the next album right here. Was that all we saw? I can't remember what else we saw. I think that was it. There was not a lot of stuff. I'm really excited to see their other... I keep looking for my phone and it's literally right there. <laughs> um, I, I'm really excited to see more of their metal stuff. Yes. And I don't mean like metal. Metal! Like, but what, I mean, is there anywhere else to go? Are we done? I think probably I should go to the airport. Yeah, it's 143. It's, it's, I need to pack some of these uh, yes. resin items. I can't so believe you're not going to wear that break. bat on the plane. You know. Bats on a plane. MC, MC raised by bats. Oh, we also met a, a music fiddle player. We did. And then looking what for some What was the name of her band? Straw, Straw Billy. Straw Billy. She asked us for a recommendation for spooky music, and I was like, ha, 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 ha. This guy. Do I have some songs for you? And then he just broke out into song like, and dance in the I middle just, of Ross. It was amazing. Free gotta concert. dance, gotta sing. It was, it was a free glorious, concert for everyone in Ross. Glorious. It was amazing. No, that really didn't happen, like, but I was hoping. Well, check it out. Yep. Straw Billy, y'all. Straw Billy. Okay, well, we're pretending to drive. We're not going anywhere. All right, well, I guess that's it. Are we done? I think we're done. I thank you oh, so very, it's so very bittersweet. much. First of all, this would have been 53 Ubers for me. Because, you know, we don't have these stores in Manhattan. They exist. Some, some of them are in New Jersey and some of them are in Long Island. So to get to one of the stores and find out they haven't even put out all their Halloween stuff yet is really ouchy. It's a really, really painful situation. Being able to hang out with you, first of all has been so much fun. And so then fun. be able to go to like a whole bunch of stores in one day, it's it's heaven. And we were ha heaven truly day. Halloween decor hunting today, yeah. like full force, <laughs> sweating in the yeah. heat. I mean, I burnt, I, I, I think it's I have sunburn. a sunburn. I just, I'm so glad you came in town and we were able to make this work because I was so excited. And secretly this morning I was like, I think we're both gonna cancel because we are so tired, yeah. but I'm glad we did it. Yeah, I mean, we, 
I got back to my hotel, what, like six in the morning? And yeah. What time did you and Dallas get home? We got home at 5.30, but we didn't go to bed till about, by the time I got my dog settled and all that, it was like six o'clock and Right, yeah. and then you were, you came to pick me up at 10, well, like you left your house at like 9.30? Nine, nine something, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the fact that we pulled this off, I think we we did a good. I, I'm so excited we're able to do this, and I hope you come back. Oh oh oh! oh. What happened? They're about to get into oh. bumper cars. I see. Um, but you come back. I hope Mayumi can come. Absolutely. Because I really want to meet her. I, I love She's her. So sweet. And when you guys were out Halloween decor hunting last year, I loved watching. Well, you guys out well, there in you your elements. And, you and Dallas should come. Well, first of all, you should obviously come visit us in New York. Yes. But above and beyond that, you should come visit us in Mexico City. That Take would be amazing. All the spooky places. Yes. Yeah. That would be an amazing time. And I, we really want, I really want to, I'm going to tell Dallas, like, hey, you were invited. Fun. Yeah. You should come to Mexico City. <laughs> and thank you for hanging out and it's Halloween decor hunting with me. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, or hey. Hey, goth dad, <laughs> hey, down in the comments. Uh, Cause you know, I love talking to you. Also don't forget to check out Voltaire's episode on his channel, which should be up next week. Yeah, in a week right? or two, yeah. Yeah, in a week or two. Um, Gothic guys, homemaking. Yes, Gothic homemaking. I'll have everything, all of the stuff. Yeah. Well, Get to the airport. I mean, to the plane. I oh, think what's the song? So, hurry, hurry, hurry before I go inside. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna be sedated. Freeze.